So Cosmic Sleep is a multi-sensory installation uh, which uh, tells a story about uh, an asteroid traveling through space and uh, this asteroid has been in space for a long time and starts slowly getting closer to the sun. And when it gets closer to the sun all, all these gases start escaping and uh, then it comes really close and it's really boiling and this installation you get to uh, experience this story um, with uh, uh, 200 Pelche elements that actually heat up your body but also can cool it down and uh, uh, because you're, you, you actually feel the story and hear it uh, through a narrator uh, you get a really different experience than if you just see it so um, it's used by Peltier elements it's like a fridge so uh, in a fridge the inside is cold and the uh, um, and um, after or the other way around it's warm and we can change the current so the same element it can become uh, warm and cold and with the water that's passing through it takes the warmth away uh, otherwise uh, it can't cool down because uh, if you cool down something the other side gets uh, warmer sorry yeah okay <laughs> it's fine um, uh, so the water is really important important to to cool it down um, and then we made um, uh, the whole system and uh, together with um, actually a, a game program uh, we um, sent codes to the Arduino and the Arduino that that's, um, communicates. communicates with all uh, system but all those elements we can uh, change them one by one uh, to warm it up or cool it down actually it's not like in a series it's actually really different with uh, everyone although there are people who were really um, in the, the animation, so when they come out, they were like, wow, that was really cool. And there were other people who just filmed so, felt that something was a bit warmer and a bit colder. They liked it, but it was not an amazing uh, story. It, 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 it's yeah. also very dependent on how immersed you, you, you allow yourself to be in the story. Uh, so we, we've also heard uh, some people say that because they, they're pressed against the cloth you're lying on, um, they, they actually start to feel not human anymore and more like an object, more like the asteroid they're actually hearing about. And uh, because you're, you're getting heat up and cooled down again, it's almost like you become a fluid and you feel like this uh, fluid uh, flowing through your body. A bit like if you get like an injection in a hospital and you feel like the cold uh, uh, yeah, f fluid through your veins, and, and that's actually a really cool uh, effect of, of this whole experiment. Uh, yeah. So uh, this project, uh, it's our teacher who, uh, who had the idea to do this. We're just students helping him out, realizing this project, and he actually every year he comes uh, here. I think, like yeah. it's his fourth year, and every year his projects become um, more crazier than the year before <laughs> so next year it's yeah he, he's our crazy uh, professor yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's really yeah, uh, yeah. he's it, an awesome yeah, guy yeah. He, yeah, yeah, Frederick uh, Durink uh, is our professor at uh, Avans University and uh, he does more uh, projects. Uh, he has made uh, a famous desk uh, before, that's another uh, uh, big project of him, uh, which also experiments with the multi-sensory, like getting uh, hot and cold and smell and uh, that sort of yeah. stuff. So that's b really the basic thing he, he tries to experiment, experiment with. Yeah, yeah. The basic thing he wants to do is just storytelling. That's what he wants uh, people to realize. Yeah. Yeah. So it's actually still a prototype. Uh, it's our fir a third uh, prototype. And the uh, next steps are um, making the face a bit more comfortable and um, that you feel uh, more through the body and also on the back because now it's just uh, up front. We will also want it on the back. Uh, and doing way more tests and uh, trying to make it better. Yeah, I think that way. Yeah, so narratively, there are loads of ideas. We also got here on the festival at FIPA uh, from people that 
you know, get so immersed that they start thinking like, what are the possibilities for this? So there are people saying like, oh, you, sh you, sh you should really make a tracksuit so you can walk around in a VR environment yeah. and experience like, what if you were an astronaut and you were on the moon and, and the sun comes up so you can feel like uh, the heat from that. And so there's a lot of ideas we also got here uh, for, for a narrative. And as, as Roman said already, so technically there's uh, progress being made and right now now a new uh, new version is being made in China, so uh, yeah, so that's all very promising. Uh, yeah. yeah.